fossil dinosaurs. The best known of the fossil reptiles are the dinosaurs, whose name means terrible lizard. There were two groups of these, Saurischia with reptile-like hip bones and Ornithischia with bird-like hip bones. The reptile-like Saurischian hip bones are seen in this dinosaur. The bird-like Ornithischian hip bones may be seen in this dinosaur. The best known of the Saurischian dinosaurs was the plant-eater Brontosaurus, the thunder lizard. Brontosaurus was almost 80 feet long and weighed 40 tons. One group of Saurischians were the large flesh-eating dinosaurs. One was Allosaurus. Notice the strong teeth used for tearing flesh. Allosaurus was 35 feet long and stood on his hind feet. The foot of Allosaurus was over two feet wide. It was padded like that of an elephant and had strong claws. Tyrannosaurus was the largest of the flesh eaters. This is the skeleton of Tyrannosaurus. This bird-like dinosaur lived later and fed on a diet of fruits, green plants, and small animals. The bird-hipped Ornithischians developed into many different kinds of dinosaurs. Many became quite large and all fed on plants. The duckbill water-loving dinosaurs became numerous and appeared in many forms. Trachodon is a good example. This is the skeleton of another duckbill. This head of another duckbill shows how unusual these animals became. Stegosaurus is the best known of the armored dinosaurs. The skeleton shows the armor was bone covered by skin. This dinosaur had an armor that completely covered its body. Protoceratops was one of the earliest of the horned dinosaurs. It grew to five or six feet long. Protoceratops eggs were the first eggs to be found. They were found in Mongolia. Triceratops is the largest and best known of the horned dinosaurs. This is the skeleton of a Triceratops. This is the skull of another giant Ceratopsian, Styracosaurus. The first dinosaurs were very small. Dinosaurs varied in size from one foot to 90 feet, but many were large. Many dinosaurs traveled on their hind legs. Even the dinosaurs who walked on four feet had short front legs. Dinosaurs which spent most of their time in the water were usually inactive and sluggish. Landforms were much more active and could travel rapidly. Many dinosaurs had a strong armor for defense. Others protected themselves by using their strong teeth. Bony horns were a protection for others. Some used large, sharp claws to attack enemies. The large size was always an excellent protection. In spite of their excellent protection, dinosaurs could not survive extreme weather conditions. The small mammals probably ate dinosaur eggs. Slowly, the giants of the past died out. Mammals Dinosaurs 
The ancient reptiles disappeared from the earth because they could not live when the weather began changing to extremes of heat and cold. Mammals were able to live under many difficult conditions. The earliest mammals looked like the small modern animals called shrews. Most of the mammals lived during the Cenozoic era. Over a period of a few million years, the mammals began to grow larger, more numerous, and show some of the differences we see today. The earliest elephants lived 50 million years ago. They had short legs and no trunk. This one shown above is compared to a modern dog. The last of the fossil elephants in North America reached 14 feet in height. The mammoth from the Los Angeles La Brea asphalt pits was one of these large elephants. The first of the hoofed animals lived 70 million years ago. The horse Eohippus lived 50 million years ago. It was about 12 inches high. The skeleton of Eohippus shows the three and four toes on the feet. Brontothere was another common hoofed animal. It became as large as a modern hippopotamus and then gradually became extinct. The skull shows the bony base of the horns. Beluchotherium, another hoofed animal, became the largest land mammal which has ever lived. He was 18 feet high at his shoulder. A peculiar deer-like animal was typical of many animals during the middle of the Cenozoic age. The early camels were as big as a medium-sized dog. Later, they developed into gigantic giraffe-like camels. The La Brea camel, found in the Los Angeles asphalt pits, was humpless. Giant pigs grew to a height of six feet before they became extinct. Hoofed oreodonts numerous in ancient times, also became extinct. They grew to the size of wild pigs. This skeleton of an oreodont is only one and a half feet long. Pouched animals like the opossum are now found mostly in Australia. This is an ancient relative. An interesting relative of the armadillo was the giant armored glyptodont, which grew to six feet in height. A close relative was the ground sloth, which often rose on its hind feet to reach plant food. The modern living sloth now lives in trees, hanging by strong claws, as did the first sloths. These feet would not allow the ground sloth to move fast. Flesh-eating animals, called carnivores, are never found in large numbers because they would soon run out of food. There are fewer fossil carnivores found because of this. One of the first cats lived in the beginning of the Cenozoic era. Two kinds of cats developed from the early form. One was the stabbing cat, or saber tooth, which became extinct. This skull from the La Brea pits shows the long, stabbing teeth. The other cat, which still lives today, was the biting cat. A large one was found in the La Brea pits. The fossil civet dog looked much like modern dogs. Some fossil bears had short noses. This is the head of the short-faced bear from La Brea pits. The first primates were tarsiers and lemurs, distant relatives of monkeys and apes. These lived in North America 50 million years ago. The last primate, man, probably appeared about 2 million years ago. As population of man has increased, the number of large mammals has decreased. Many things have caused the mammals to decrease, and undoubtedly, man has destroyed many. Early mammals were small, simple animals which appeared in the late Mesozoic era. During the Cenozoic era, the mammals increased in size, number, and kind. Thank <laughs> you.